Civilization 5, currently my most played game on Steam, is sadly coming to an end. A new adventure will be released to us on the 24th of October later this year. There are a few reasons why I think Civilization 5 won't stay my most played on Steam for long. Howdy folks, my name is Stanley111, and here are just a few reasons why Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond the Earth is going to totally kick ass. Something that is definitely going to make Beyond Earth fresh and new is the new twist to the setting. Instead of the player following their chosen nation's earliest iterations through the ages, you start off where the majority of the passive games end, as a set of colonists exploring the so-called Final Frontier and the many planets within it. Technology is going to be majorly improved because of the new story. Earth has had some sort of horrendous catastrophe called the Great Mistake. Something happened that almost ruined humanity and Earth itself. Many years later in a poverty driven Earth there are new nations built upon the old ones who have tiredly strived for survival in the conditions they are forced upon. They are then forced out of Earth due to the lack of materials, so they are going to have to explore where no man has gone before. The vast emptiness of the universe. It's an interesting take on the franchise that changes how the game is played. It also pretty much changes the flow of the gameplay too. So there are totally new worlds to explore. In the early game, a lot of worry goes into city placement and barbarian hostiles. Well, in the slightly harder difficulty settings at least. In Beyond Earth, we're going to be on a totally new planet. Some totally crazy aliens might be running about. New epic technologies like plasma weapons or big laser shields. The map looks freaking awesome too. Also, there are going to be tons of easter eggs from many sci-fi franchises. Many of which will be interactable even as an ally or an enemy. Right guys, this is cool. Throughout playing the game, your human faction can evolve in certain ways. These can affect so many things, like the way that they appear to other factions, good or bad. These are called affinities. There are three affinities, which are supremacy, harmony and purity. Supremacy is the belief that humans should be independent of the world they are settled on, so they use technologies and cybernetics to alter themselves so that they are able to move freely on other planets, as well as the one they are currently situated on. The Harmony Affinity is themed around the faction's integration with the alien planet. Players who decide to develop the Harmony line will transform their people through genetic manipulation to become one with the alien environment. A faction that aligns itself with purity is a faction that refuses to be changed at all by the alien world. Instead, the faction is out to create the ideal human world, or change the planet to be more like Earth. Of course, the only way to do that is through brute force, dramatic terraforming and obviously, big ass guns. These affinities change how your cities look and what sort of equipment, such as armour, that your units use. This will definitely make them a lot easier to spot. These advancements can be founded through research and technologies, or like in Civ 5, ruins, but in this case, they are alien artifacts. One of the biggest changes in Civ titles is how the technology tree is handled. In normal Civ games, it is quite possible that your civilization will be able to research every single technology. In Beyond the Earth though, the new technology web forces a player to make decisions that really matter. Unless you have a major experience of the title, you won't know how each technology will affect the evolution of your faction in the future. This will possibly periodically influence your diplomacy with other factions who are going down a different affinity. Something that has made an appearance before in previous titles is questing. These little side objectives will grant you all types of bonuses and help you flesh out the future of your faction, because you get to choose your own quests and what sort of decisions you're going to make. Another system that has been adapted by previous title is Covert Ops, which is similar to the spying capability. But with this, you can do a little more than find out the intel about your opponent's next move or steal some tech. Later on, once your operatives gain more intrigue, you can even smuggle supplies or plant attractors to attract many of the indigenous to attack your foes. This may include the sandworms that have a capability to destroy parts of settlements, which is pretty awesome. 
So tell me guys, what do you think of the upcoming title? Tell me down in the comments. Also, tell me if there's anything else you want me to dig deeper into in another video about Beyond Earth. I know not all of PC gamers are Civ fans, so you may disagree with me. I am a big Civ fan and I have plans to buy it no matter what. Thanks for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stally111, see you guys on the next one. Peace off.